It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm back with another European lager. I'm going to roll my sleeves up for this one. I'm excited for this one because I think this is going to be my first Romanian beer. And I like it when I come across a beer from a country that I've number one never been to and number two well, you're curious about it, innit? You're wondering, what's Romania like? You know, as a place, I'd probably like to go and visit it. Have a look, enjoy. This is uh, the Kukas. Uh, it's a 4.6% ABV lager beer in a 500 milliliter can. I bought it in one of those kind of Euro stores. Um, World, it's called Cardiff World Food Store. And they had everything in there from, from Japanese food, Korean, all your noodles you want, you know, um, Polish uh, sausage, Polish crisps. We're going to be pairing it today with some Polish slash German crunch chip, X cut, chili and lime flavour. They were about one pound, two pound, between one pound seventy five and two pound a bag they were. And same with the beer. The beer was about £1.75 as well. And I think the reason why these beers have just landed in the UK now is because uh, we've got um, some Romanian people who have come to the UK who are now working here. I know um, my Polish friends, they employ Romanian scaffolders and uh, construction staff. And of course, why not? Why not? These lovely people who come to our country to work, they want, they, they maybe want to have some home comforts. They might, they maybe want to drink their own beer from their own country. Whenever I see my Polish mate out there working on his Audi, taking the wheels off, cleaning the car, you know, polishing, he's always got a Tisky or uh, some other Polish lager. Absolutely, why not? You know, enjoy beers. That you're probably comfortable with but of course try other beers too so that's the reason why this beer here is probably in this country and i'm going to take advantage of that i'm going to take advantage of it and try it um, it's got a nice deer on the front let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get a little bit of smoke on the can opening I'm going to use a german beer glass with this one hofmeister Now I've been to I've been to Croatia. I really enjoyed Croatia, and I was drinking their I think it was called Pan. I was drinking their Pan Lager, or I reviewed their Pan Lager, and this Pan Lager was advertised everywhere, all over the billboards of, of Split in in Croatia, and it turned out that the company was owned by Heineken, so I wouldn't be surprised, wouldn't be surprised at all. If this is Heineken or Carlsberg owned, um, you know, a bigger European country has bought the local brewery, kept the name. That's what happens. What seem, what happens in Poland is that the, the big Heineken companies, they buy um, the local breweries and they shut the breweries down. And they literally leave these buildings to flip in rot. It's a terrible thing. Absolutely terrible thing. I hope that's not what's happened in, in Romania with this country, company. But I wouldn't be surprised if it has, you know. Uh, two finger white head on this beer. Good levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. It's a pale straw coloured lager beer. Uh, let's get the aroma. It smells okay. Quite hoppy. Quite a hoppy number, this. A little citrusy. And a, a little bit of spicy lemon coming through. A little bit of stinging nettle. Mmm. Smells okay. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody.
Yeah, that's all right. That's okay. It's a nice, it's a really nice, it's got lovely carbonation to it. It makes the beer almost fluffy in the mouth. It almost makes the beer float in the mouth. It's a delicate carbonation. It's not a kind of a heavy, aggressive carbonation, but it kind of just, yeah, it makes the beer really airy and light. Mmm, quite like that. I quite like that. Another rainy day here in South Wales. You can probably hear it on the roof. Ideally, ideally, I'd like to be in Romania now on a hot summer's day. Probably maybe in a lovely beer garden. Enjoying one of these. I, I always say, I, I think I emphasised it enough in my last beer review, the Grand Select, uh, which was a Lithuanian lager. The... You can, you've got to try and put yourself in that kind of situation. You've got to put yourself in that kind of place. Think of yourself like, I, I've never been to Romania. Um, I, might, I may never get to go to Romania. But my point is, is that try and envisage yourself somewhere nice. Maybe you've been to Turkey in the past or Spain and you've drank a really nice cold glass of San Miguel. Or Efez. I've been to Turkey and I drank a glass of Efez Draft. And that beer on a hot summer's day was like golden nectar going down. Equally, if I was drinking a bottle of Efez here today in this rain, it, it wouldn't have that kind of same desired effect, you know. Um, very similar to probably what's going on here. It's a very nice beer. Very, very nice beer. just inoffensive it's inoffensive it's one of those beers that you've just finished an eight hour slog you just finished your eight hour day your eight hour day in work you know you come in you've had a shower you've got a few cans in the fridge and you're thinking to yourself i'm gonna have a few beers tonight and and it's just one of those unoffensive beers maybe the football's on the telly and you're just enjoying a few it's not an overly complex beer there's a little bit of a, a, a light grain coming through. It's nicely carbonated. There's a nice bitterness on the back end from the hops. It's a peppery spiciness. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. How does it pair with the chips? The Lorenz Crunch Chips. Chili and lime. Here's a look at them. A ridge cut crisp. Probably coloured with paprika. Most crisps are coloured with paprika. That lovely kind of reddy golden colour you see on a crisp is generally paprika. Let's get in. Oh. Oh, they're good. Oh, yeah. I like them. First and foremost, you get quite a bit of lime. Quite a limey flavour coming through. Of course, the chilli and lime. Then you're left with that kind of bare potato flavour. And then... There's a little bit of a burn coming through. Not too much. 
if you want more of a burn, more of a chilli burn, then I suggest picking up the crunch chips, uh, cheese and chilli. The cheese and chilli had a, like a, that cheese powder flavour from the cheese and then they had a nice chilli burn. These, they're more lime, pepper and potato. There's a little bit less of that kind of chilli burn coming through. They're okay. They're okay. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm going to rate them while they're fresh in my mind. They're nice. I think they're a unique flavour. I think you've got to like lime. And, and you've got to like lime on a potato crisp to be able to enjoy these. Um, personally, I buy the crunch chips, cheese and chilli. I rated them very highly. These, yeah, they're okay. They're a, they're a kind of 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. However, the beer, I'm quite impressed with this, you know. Quite impressed. Looks good. Smells good. A very light, airy aroma to it. Very crisp, clean flavour. Reminds me of a Helles Lager from Germany. Yeah, I like that. I like that enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. I hope you like the video. Um, pro now, I, I, I've done this before. I, I, I'll say, oh, that I've just reviewed my first Romanian lager, and then it turns out I reviewed one seven years ago. What happens is that Lidl, you'll go in Lidl every now and again, and you'll find some, you'll find some beer in the, like, reduce line, and it, uh, it's from some faraway land. So it probably turned out that I might have done a Romanian beer before, but I can't remember reviewing a Romanian beer. I'm going to say this could very well be my first Romanian beer review, and it's a good one. It's a good one, yeah, it's an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.